All right, once again, this is Noel Huntsville coming back from break. Um, this is our extended web interview with uh, Downtown Huntsville, Inc., uh, Chad Emerson. Appreciate you taking some time today. So I uh, also want to thank uh, OTBX, our sponsor, Downtown Tap Room, and also uh, Dr. Barbecue for supplying all the barbecue for us. Uh, oh, yes. Very good. Very Wonderful. Good. Awesome. And of course, Yellow Hammer, our sponsor today, we're drinking their great beer. So, uh, Chad. Yeah. Um, some a couple of different people asked me that I need to talk to you about this. So you wrote a book about Disney. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, future pro or sorry, Project Future: The Inside Story Behind the Creation of Disneyland is the book. Disney that World. Disney World. Disney World. Yeah. yeah, Land was the first one. Out Land was in California. World was in in World. Florida. That's right. The big one. Right. So the question is, is are you trying to Disney-fy Huntsville? That's the real question. Are we all going to be wearing mouse ears? I hope so. In the next couple of years. No. No, uh, I mean, right. can. I mean, I'm, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I think it would look kind of weird. <laughs> but um, no, I wrote that book um, when I was way back when I was teaching law school. I wrote a law review article, and my wife read the article, and she's like, "Yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. Why Walt selected Central Florida, this swamp? Right, he did a big land grab. Oh yeah, right? twenty-seven thousand acres. Twenty-seven thousand acres. So why did he do it there instead of Valdosta, Georgia, or Palm Beach, or?" Pensacola, you know, this book kind of talks about that, so. Really cool. All right, so I had to get that out of the way. A lot of people asked me to, to talk to you about that. All right. So um, uh, my question, too, is I, I see downtown Huntsville Inc. kind of going to these events. Like, over here at Pinnock Provisions, how far does downtown actually reach? Where are the, <laughs> where are the boundaries for downtown <laughs> yeah. is what you consider downtown? So um, we're very good at gerrymandering. Right. Um, I, can, I that, think that's, that, what, yeah, I think that's we, what's how happening. How can we bring our red cups? How far can we <laughs> Yeah, how far can we go? Yeah, <laughs> it's in the city of Huntsville, and it's interesting um, now. So, you know, there, there is the traditional core of downtown, and then right. there are several definitions. But we talk about the areas not just in downtown but around downtown. If I could go to our website, there's a whole section called the District's of Huntsville, which talk about Low Mill, Lincoln Mill, Merrimack, Medical District, Montesano, all around. Because a city, a downtown, does not just live in isolation. You go to Nashville, right, you go yeah. to downtown Nashville, you're probably going to spend some time in Germantown, the Gulch, mm -hmm. 12 South, East Nashville. And so that's a similar uh, thought here is that downtown doesn't have to be limited to a very specific area. Now, I mean, there's certain areas you get out of downtown, but uh, Campus 805 or Yellowhammer is going to be. I was about you to know, ask you about that. If yeah. that's not downtown, that's at least. You know, it's not that far from downtown. It's a gateway not that far. to downtown. Maybe so. a half mile from downtown. Yeah, there. right. I mean, yeah, Bikes and Brews goes from downtown to there. So, I mean, that's... Uh, and is there a thought that... Um, so, well, another question I have is about entertainment districts. How, how do those work? Because, I mean, in, in behind yeah. the, the entertainment districts, we think about being able to drink throughout that district, right? Yes. Being able to carry drinks. So, how, do, how does that whole thing work? Because it seems odd to me, like... Well, it's kind of like, uh, so if, you, if you've been down to New Orleans, uh, French Quarter, people Have. walk around, and yes. um, this is not quite that level of intensity, but um, the state created a law which gave certain cities of a certain size mm -hmm. the ability to create these open container districts, entertainment districts. It's not just open container, but it's meant, that's the highlight of the right. most <laughs> that's of That's the best part. Most people it. are most interested in that. <laughs> right. Um, and so uh, they limit the size, total square footage, and so you, uh, it doesn't have to be a square you know area, so you can kind of reach different areas. Uh, so downtown, you can go all the way from the Spring Hill Suites, if you're staying there, all the way to uh, OTBX. That's a bit of a hike, but you could do that with a purple cup if you really wanted Where to. Where do you get the purple cups again? <laughs> At the <laughs> establishments. You can yeah, buy them. Yeah, you can't do any, you know, no, no trunk bars here, so you can't just pull up your car and start serving people. Um, you have to be a licensed establishment during the certain days and hours. And then if you buy a drink from there, you can take it out of there. So if you go to OTBX and decide it, you want to go to a concert um, over in Big Spring Park, Ask them for a purple cup, and they'll. Uh, Do they charge you for the purple cup, or is it just the beer inside the purple cup? Right, not but not the, the actual cup. cup. Yeah. All right. Not yet. That, I seen that goes further, right, right to like Lone Goose and and over there too, right? Well, that's a separate one. So over there, Lumberyard, where Lone Goose Furniture Factory is, there's a separate one called Meridian District. So oh, a, okay. Then you have one out in uh, Providence too, I think, and then they'll probably one. Um, fingers crossed, near Campus 805. Right. Well, we're, everything, everybody's really excited about Campus 805. It's going to be pretty cool. I mean, I think uh, Yellowhammer's moving over there within the next couple weeks, I think, right? Yeah. Well, by the time this comes out, they should be already over there, which is really neat. And then uh, Salty Nuts moving over into Yellowhammer right now. And the hope is that that's going to be sort of an entertainment district where you could go and possibly walk from Salty Nut over to 
uh, Yellowhammer, and then eventually Straight to Ale will be right there. So it, it's kind of Lone neat. Goose is relocating there. Mm -hmm. You'll have a concert lawn. You'll have Ronnie Ray Guns. Um, What's Ronnie Ray Guns? Ronnie Ray Guns is Jeff Sanders currently has a small pinball uh, kind of uh, cafe oh. at Straight to Ale. It's going to grow and have uh, pinball and some uh, cool retro games. And huh. You have other things. Uh, Earth and Stone Woodfire Pizza is opening their first brick and mortar, so a food truck that turned brick and mortar. Uh, it's going to be really cool. And the thing about that, as well as like Low Mill, those two places are as good as what they do as anywhere in the country. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's not just like, oh, that's cool for a southern city of 500,000 people. It's right. like you take Low Mill, take a campus of 805, put it in any city, it's cool. There. It'll it's do well. Best yeah. in class. Yeah. 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 Which is really neat. Hey, I think um, since we have you here, I, my. my biggest concern right now is that we don't have a mid-size venue to support really good music. So a lot of music that a lot of me and my friends listen to are kind of, they're not VBC size bands, yeah. right? They're smaller size, they're Crossroads. Right? Mm -hmm. We don't have a Crossroads, crossroads. anymore. Crossroads closed down. Really, I, I think that made a huge, uh, th there's a huge hole that needs to be filled there. Is there any plans to do anything with that? I, I know there's going to be an amphitheater over at Campus 805, but I think yeah. That doesn't really serve that at, at really well. Is there any type of plans for some type of mid-size venue where some of these good bands that we like to see could actually come here and play? When you say mid-size, what do you, just give me a rough number? Like, a, you, like, like people, you mean? Yeah. So no, like an exactly like a crossroads works, yeah. where it can hold that many people. Five hundred people. And, and yeah, and actually bring in bands. A, 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 yeah, like an against me or a fishbone or. Or even drive-by yeah, truckers like a, came and played the crossroads. Yeah. Jason Nibble, Isbel before he got huge, he yeah. played the VBC, but he played over at. Uh, a crossroads, and to me, we're missing that. We don't have that anymore right now. It'd be great to have some type of plans where that can be filled. Yeah, so um, not quite that size, but there's some really interesting venues that have been popping up around um, the downtown area. Uh, Tangled String, you know, go to show over there. Again, that's yeah. 100 or less, mm -hmm. but I think that's one of the best listening lounges in the southeast. I, I mean, think you go so to a too. concert it's there. It's beautiful in there, too. Oh, yeah, been over acoustics there. are amazing. See so yeah, how um, we just plug Tangled yeah, String, very yeah. organic. Like, yeah, very <laughs> professional. That was smooth. <laughs> very now, um, now they're a great venue, right? I'll tell you another place that's been putting on some shows is you, everyone thinks about the uh, the Playhouse at the VBC is just where you go for fantasy, and that's they do great shows. But they've actually been having some really cool concerts there. I think I've seen some of those. Yeah, yeah Dopapod's yeah. coming there, right. and they've had uh, Dirty Governors there. They've had a. Uh, Patrick Chestnut's been doing some great work there, so keep an eye out for that. Okay. They've got two or three new concerts, and that's, we walked in there with some um, some bookers just showing them around some place, and they're like, in fact, they were just like, why are we even going in here? Someone was, and I was like, let's just go in here. And they're like, wow, that is a cool, like, black box theater, and they can put all the seats back. So uh, the VVC Playhouse, you can rent it cheap, and it's a very cool venue. So if you got a concert, go there, give it a try. Somebody be like, ah, check it out. I was like, check maybe, it out. Maybe they need a different name. A or name? Something, the Playhouse know, is really just thrown yeah. off. It's not like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Nobody yeah, really exactly. wants to go there. <laughs> maybe the Drunk House or something. <laughs> just on hey, weekends. Talk real quick, and I, d I just thought of this about what the Lumberyard is doing. Yeah. So there's some changes happening over there, right? So yeah. Talk so about Doug that. Um, Smith is doing some really cool things over there. In fact, I. Uh, we're recording this on a Sunday. They have a really popular Sunday brunch over there. Okay. Um, kind of grown the sandwich farm area into a. Which is names change now. It's the Lumberyard Kitchen or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. Kind of grown that front part and now put in a back part. Right. And there's, he's just uh, really changing it around there. I think there's going to be a little venue, indoor venue there. So. That's where the bicycle shop is. I think they're turning that into a venue. That's what I heard from somebody was telling me about that. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't know all the details, but I know that whenever I take someone from out of town over there, they're like, again, this is one of those things that'd be cool anywhere you put it, not just. Right. Yeah, in Huntsville. Very cool. Uh, again, it's uh, downtown Huntsville, Inc. Again, I think they're doing really good things down there. I'm, I'm really impressed with some of the things that you have going on there. I think, Chad, you're a big part of that. So I really appreciate your time coming in here. Everybody give it up for Chad. Thanks. 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 Appreciate it. Enjoy it. Again, I want to thank Yellow Hammer uh, for the beer today. Also, OTBX, the downtown tap room. And uh, Tangled String, which is sponsoring the Red Stage that has John over there playing. Why don't you take us out, John? Go ahead, buddy.